If you are planning on upgrading the RAM capacity on your laptop, the first thing is to figure out whether you have any empty RAM slots in your laptop in the first place. Now the traditional way to check for empty RAM slots is to open up your laptop and physically check if the slots are occupied or not. However, that can be difficult and tedious for those who do not have the right skills. Plus opening up your laptop always carries the risk of unintentional damage. So in this tutorial, I will explain two simple and hassle-free ways to check if you have empty RAM slots on your laptop without opening it. The first and perhaps the easiest way to check for empty RAM slots on your laptop is to use the task manager. Remember that this method only works for Windows 8, Windows 10 and newer Windows OS like Windows 11. Opening the task manager is fairly simple. You can access task manager by pressing the Ctrl Alt Delete keys together or by right clicking on the task bar at the bottom and selecting task manager from the menu that opens. Once in the task manager, head over to the performance tab at the top. Once in the performance tab, select the memory section from the left hand menu. In the memory section, you should see a very clear field labeled as slots used. In my case, it says 2 of 2, meaning I have 2 RAM slots on my laptop and both of them are occupied. If only one of the slots was occupied, it would have said 1 of 2. I can also deduce how much RAM is in each slot by looking at the total RAM at the top and then dividing it by 2. So I have 16 GB of RAM in total. That would mean I have 8 GB RAM sticks inserted into each slot. Of course, this deduction will not work in all cases. Say you have 12 GB of RAM in total and 2 slots. So in that case, you won't divide 12 GB by 2 since there are no 6 GB of RAM sticks. Instead, a 12 GB of total RAM on 2 slots means you have 8 GB in one slot and 4 GB in the other. Again, this method of checking the number of slots and whether they are empty or not in Task Manager only works with Windows 8 or new operating systems. If you have an older operating system or if you want to know extensive details regarding the RAM installed on your PC, I recommend using the next method. So in this method, we will use a free third-party utility called CPU-Z. CPU-Z is one of the most popular utilities for checking the specs of your PC. To install this utility, head over to its official website and download it. I have included its link in the description below. Installing the utility is also quite easy and straightforward. Once downloaded and installed, run the utility. With the utility now running, head over to the SPD tab on top. In this section, you will see very specific details regarding the RAM modules installed as well as how many slots you have and whether they are occupied or not. You can see the number of slots on your laptop by pressing the drop down menu in the memory slot selection fields. So if, for instance, here in the drop down menu, you can see that I have two slots on my laptop. Now selecting each slot tells me the details regarding the RAM module installed. It tells me its size, which is 8 GB in this case, its type, which is DDR4, the speed it's working at, its brand, model number, case latency, and the voltage it is working at. If any of my slots were empty, all these fields would show as blank. So I do not have any empty RAM slots on my laptop. Hence, I wouldn't be able to expand my total RAM without removing one of my RAM sticks. So in case if I wanted to increase my total RAM from 16 GB to say 24 GB, I would have to remove one of the 8 GB sticks and replace that with a 16 GB stick. That way I would have one 16 GB stick and one 8 GB stick already installed to give me a total of 24 GB. All in all, I hope you learned something of value from this short tutorial. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.